The materials that you're going to need for this project are going to be your yarn, a pair of scissors, a 5.75 millimeter hook, and a 5 millimeter hook, and then a needle to weave in your end. You're going to take your yarn and make a slip knot, and take your 5.75 millimeter hook. Then you're going to make a chain that goes from your collarbone to be some anywhere between your belly button and your pelvis. That would be fine. If you do it closer to your pelvis, it's going to be longer. And if you do it closer to your belly button, it's going to be shorter. So I'm going to do a chain of 55. Now that you have your chain, you are going to chain two more, and then you are going to place a half double crochet into the third chain from your hook, and you're just going to continue to half double crochet all the way down your row until you get to the last chain, and I'll show you what to do. Here is your last chain, and you are going to put two half double crochets. And then you're going to chain one, and then put two more half double crochets, just like that. So you have two half double crochets, a chain one, and another two half double crochets, all in the last chain. Then you're just going to continue down the other side and put one half double crochet into each chain so it should look like this and you're gonna go all the way down till you get back to the bottom from here you are going to chain two then you're going to turn your work over and put a half double crochet into the back loop only just like that and continue to put half double crochets into the back loop only until you get to this chain space right here in the middle. In the chain space you are going to put two half double crochets so one and two it's gonna look like that then chain one and put two more half double crochets into the chain space like that now you're going to continue to half double crochet into the back loop only all the way down till you get back to the beginning and then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and half double crochet in the back loop only, all the way down to the chain space. Put two half double crochets, chain one, two more half double crochets, then continue back down, putting a half double crochet in the back loop only, all the way down. You're going to continue to repeat that until your project gets to be the width from one side of your body to the other side. I did a total of 20 rows. Here's what it looks like. It's this weird triangle shape. Once you finish with the first panel, you're going to cut and tie off your yarn and then you need to make a second one the exact same as this one. Now that you have both the front and the back panel, we are going to work on the sleeves. To do that, take your hook, make a slip knot with your yarn, then you're going to make a chain that loosely fits around wherever you want the end of your sleeve to be. 
I think I'm gonna do like just past the elbow so I'm gonna chain 35 Now that you have your chain, you will chain two. Then you're going to put a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. And then continue to half double crochet down your row. When you finish your first row, you're going to start the next by chaining two. Then turn your work. You're going to put a half double crochet into the back loop only, and you're going to continue to half double crochet all the way across your row. Continue to make half double crochet rows till you have a total of seven. Here are my seven rows. Continuing, we are going to chain two. And then put two half double crochets into your first stitch into the back loop only. And two. Then we are just going to continue to half double crochet across your row till you get to the end. Chain two. Turn your work. Put two half double crochets into the back loop of the first stitch and then continue to half double crochet down your row. Chain two and for the next two rows you are just going to put one half double crochet into every back loop of each stitch. Repeat the last four rows that you just did, so two increase rows and then two regular rows until your sleeve is the length that you want it to be, but make sure that you end on a row that is not increased. Here's what your sleeve is going to look like. Once you finish, just cut and tie off your yarn. Then after you've done that, you are going to need to make a, another sleeve exactly the same as this one. You should now have four pieces, the two sleeves and the two main parts. From here, you are going to take your sleeve, figure out which side you want to be right side out and right side in. And you're going to fold it so that right side out is on the outside. And then take your yarn and make a slip knot. Insert your hook into the bottom where your hand is going to be coming out. And just put the yarn through the first row. Slide your stitch slip slide your slip knot on chain one and then you are going to put a slip stitch into every row all the way down the sleeve just like this now you are going to take your two big pieces and put them together then take your sleeve and you are just going to slip stitch the sleeve right onto the two big pieces just like that and now including this one so this is going to be one. You are going to slip stitch the two big pieces together for whatever your starting chain for it was. 
So for me, it was 55. Then you are going to cut and tie off your yarn. Just like that. So this side is going to look like this. Just like that, and it's put together. And now you are going to come up here to the sleeve again. Make a slip knot. You're going to count five stitches. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Line it up with the rows. Insert your hook. Then slip stitch 10 stitches together. Cut and tie off your yarn, and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side with the other sleeve. Now grab your 5mm hook, turn your project right side out, and you're going to take your yarn, decide which side you want to be the front and which one you want to be the back. So take your yarn and insert it into the middle which is right here. Slide your slip, sti slip knot onto your hook, pull it through, then you're going to chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you're going to put a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Then single crochet in every chain until you get to the bottom. So now we have this, and we are going to slip stitch into the next row. That is going to end our row, and now we are going to make another slip stitch into the next stitch, and that's going to act as our chain one. Now we are going to turn our work, and we are going to put a single crochet into the first stitch in the back loop only. So these two are your slip stitches. We're just going to back loop only, single crochet. Then single crochet all the way up. chain one, turn your work over, and then single crochet into the back loop only. You're going to repeat this all the way around and I will show you what to do once we get back to the spot. Now you've made it all the way back around. You are going to put the two ends together so that the inside of your project has a seam in it you don't want it on the outside. You're just going to go into one side, then into the other side, and make a slip stitch. And just slip stitch all the way up. Cut 
and tie off your yarn. Just like that. So it's gonna look like that, all nice. You can't really tell. I mean, you can a little bit, but. Last thing that you're going to need to do is weave in all of your ends, and that's going to finish it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.